Well, hello everyone. Good morning. My name is Monique Cher. I am a pre-sales engineer and today we're going to do the solutions demo for Calendly through Salesforce and our solutions. How is everybody doing today? Great. It's good to see you all as well. So I want to be respectful of your time. Let's go ahead and jump right in with the agenda for today. So first, I'm going to cover what we heard from you in the initial call. Then I'll move to solution introduction and, of course, the demo and next steps. So are we still on time with uh, 30 minutes for this demonstration? Is that still correct? Okay, perfect. All right, so we'll move on. Uh, what we heard from you during the discovery. Uh, what I heard was you need to hit your annual team quota of 8 million towards the company goal of 400 million. And there were three very distinct pain points that we're going to cover today. The first one was that the spreadsheet system that you're using uh, delays the timely updates to your CROs and your VPs of sales. The second pain point was low closed one rates and wasted efforts on unqualified leads. And finally, the increased win rates are very important and we want to identify at-risk opportunities with critical updates delivered to your mobile. Would you say that that's still sufficient and accurate? Okay, great. So what we're going to show you, we wanna make sure that we increase revenue and we're gonna show you real-time monitoring of leads and opportunities. And what this will do is help streamline data visibility for your CRO using the dashboards and subscription automation system. So I've lined these up so that we can follow through with how the pain points will align with what you see in the demo. Reports and dashboards, lead scoring, and subscribing to the CRO and your mobile. Do you have any questions about that? Has anything changed? Okay, great. So let's jump to the solution demo. And I have an environment ready to go. So the first thing you talked about was that you didn't have visibility of the team, okay? So this would be the dashboard solution. The dashboards I'm going to show you is how Salesforce Sales Cloud uh, can help Calendly leaders efficiently monitor and track sales pipeline. The dashboard provides real-time visibility into key metrics like calls they make, deals closed, and of course, pipeline status. So I've labeled this out to have a lot of sales data here for you to look at, but let's focus on what's in the center. So as we can see, if we hover over 750K, we're in the discovery stage. That is the amount in discovery right now in real time. Right below that, we can see the value proposition stage. And below that, we can see how much is in proposal and quote stage. So the purpose of this is for you to intervene. This is a great benefit to have access to real time live data and to track the performance as it happens. So this is how we are going to enable you to make a decision to be productive and intervene through any of these stages that you see fit. Does that sound like a tool that you might be able to utilize? And how would the team react to seeing a pipeline in this funnel manner? Great. So the dashboard's value, okay? We can see here, Philip, he's on the leaderboard, but down here we have more sales data, such as uh, Alexa, her activity is very high. I think that's great for a sales rep. She was still learning on the leaderboard, but she's really working. She's got the most activity. So the value uh, gives us metrics and insights and does a deep dive into data. And what this does, is it boosts productivity, also incentivizes the sales team to work on the highest uh, ranked scored leads and ensures that they uh, can see the trends that are happening without having to do deep dive analysis as well. So the purpose is to the, the value is that this reduces risk and the complexity in the sales cycle during the performance. So do you have any other uh, insights you wanna do a deep dive into? 
Okay, great. So let's move on to your second pain point, which was lead scoring. And I've prepared a lead scoring sheet here called All Leads. So this is a very healthy dashboard filled with lots of leads, as we can see here. But what we're going to focus on is this section right here. This is called the lead score. Now, Salesforce has Einstein do the lead scoring for us. So let's take a look. Let's hover over the 98, and we have a very strong scored lead of 98, which is based on your criteria. So as you mentioned, you want to be able to intervene when reps are spending too much time on unqualified leads. But how would they know? This is Einstein lead scoring, which will tell them based on your criteria that they need to move on or continue to nurture a lead. Based on, say, this one is 36, this one might be too low, we can have this rep go ahead and move this lead back to marketing. So the benefit is it helps the reps be more efficient and focus on high quality prospects with the highest likelihood of conversion. This reduces wasted efforts on unqualified leads. So how do you see your team reacting to this tool? Great, that sounds good. So there's a gap here. We can see that David was assigned a lead here. We don't have enough information and we definitely want to make sure that information is filled in and we can uh, use a pick list value to make sure that these the data is filled in correctly. So once again, this is your lead scoring solution that will increase efficiency and get the leads to focus on what's going to close. And it will boost conversion rates and close deals faster. How does that sound? Yep, saving time and money, very good. Okay, and we'll move to your final pain point, which is in the reports tab, which I've already pre-prepared. Let's take a look at all open opportunities reports. So what I'm going to show you here is how reports in Salesforce Sales Cloud customize reports, and they can help Calendly sales reps be more productive, as well as sales leaders. So the reports summarize, group, and filter data that are customized to your needs. This is a very user-friendly interface. It's got a point and click interface uh, features, enables the user to generate insightful reports by tailoring specific business needs and making it easier to access and interpret critical sales data. There's also roll-up summary, which is a pain point that you had, you wanted to make sure you find, and we're gonna do that now. So I like to look at this number at the top, it says 8.4, this is great. We have a, a report of 65 records and we can see a funnel. We can hover over each stage once again. And let's go down to this side where we see the stages. This is a report by stage, the qualification stage and the probability of each of these qualified leads here and open opportunities. As we go further down, we get a stronger probability score. So imagine that your VP has put you to task to create a report that says, show me all open opportunities in the pipeline and organize them by stage, which we've seen here. So they want to know where the deals stand. They want to prioritize the efforts to close more deals efficiently. You can do this by this report, you're gonna build this report and then send them down here, it says detailed rows, just click that and close it. And now they can see each stage, the report was by stage and how much the pipeline is uh, in the amount. So do you see anything that this tool you can react to? And therefore, the value is that you can make an informed decision. This reduces time and admin and allows for deals to close much faster uh, and making money, of course, because this is what we want. And it streamlines the operations that you need to send a real-time report of this caliber. Do you see yourself utilizing this tool? Great. One last thing that we'll show since we have a little bit more time, um, let's take a look at this opportunity I have prepared here. We also, not only are opportunities new 
business, but we have existing business we need to nurture. This is a renewal, a renewal of 180K. We could see an opportunity score. This is around 64. I would say we should stick with this one with the reps. We have a proposal quote stage and here is the sales cycle path. So this allows you to intervene to push this sale over into closed one. So you can update this into negotiation, click the mark the current stage value and everybody has been updated that has moved along in the pipeline, which is great. I can also inline edit and change the amount if I need to as well and save the close date if we're getting closer to a closer target. Do you see yourself utilizing this tool as well? Any thoughts? All right, since we're here, let's go ahead and circle back to the dashboard and we'll finalize with this beautiful dashboard, current and real-time information, and it's getting later here in LA. Therefore, it is time for the CRO to get this entire report, let's say by 7 p.m. So we're gonna quickly just show you how the subscription tab is right here. As you can see here, just click that. And we don't want a weekly report to our CRO. We need a daily report, let's say 7 p.m. Because sometimes the reps are still working late. It says send to me. So that would be you. You're already in the email. And you can edit recipients and have that automated report sent every single night so that everyone is aware of what's going on in real time. Does that sound sufficient? That's excellent. So since we did the solution demonstration, let's go ahead and wrap up. Time is money. So what I've shown you is eight hours of prospecting per month, which means we have more deals in the pipeline. Uh, you get four more opportunities, which is more deals closed one. The potential is 125 hours saved by four, which is 500 more hours per month, reaching that goal of 80 million in incremental revenue by fiscal year 2025. So the solution value that we've seen with reports lead scoring and dashboards, you're gonna save costly time is spent on these admin tasks and data entry. So 40 hours at five days a week, 200 hours a week selling, you get that back and 100 hours saved, which is also critical. The business goal of 2.5 FTE by 2025. So we have our final value at less admin tasks, more selling to reach our maximum revenue. Any thoughts about that? Great. So next steps, we will schedule the follow-up demo with the VP of Revenue Ops and send additional information available with the alert feature that you asked about, as well as send a recap and the demo. Is there anything else you'd like to add? Okay, that sounds good. I look forward to your uh, recap as well in your email. And uh, thank you so much for coming. Have a great day.